What is this 5 inch long metal object with a small part that pivots back and forth, and is concave on the bottom, and machine marks on the pivot? I found it in a box of keys purchased from a collector, and it looks almost new with no wear and tear. Any ideas? It's a loading tool for an 1836 model of Colt Patterson revolvers. The barrel of the revolver would be removed using the tip of the tool. Then the point of the tool would be placed in a slot of the pin on which the cylinder revolved. The short hinged lever would then be used to press a bullet into a chamber of the cylinder over a charge of gunpowder. Then the user would assemble the gun back and then attach percussion caps to the back of each chamber. As originally designed and produced, no loading lever was included with the revolver. Starting in 1839 however, a reloading lever and a capping window were incorporated into the design, allowing reloading without disassembly. What is this small silver dish with 1864 stamped on it? I thought maybe it's a candy dish, but I have no clue. There are no other stamps or markings are present. I'm hoping it's worth something, but I think it's cool either way. Any help is appreciated. You haven't mentioned the size, but it's a wine bottle coaster. They are usually made from pewter and accommodate a bottle of wine from that specific year that is stamped on them, and were rolled out for a special occasion, rather than on a whim. What are these wooden boxes on lawns in the southern United States? This will probably be easy for people from the southern US to solve. I live in Canada. I was visiting the southern United States and saw many lawns with these wooden boxes on them. I'm very curious about what they are for. It's not for compost as everybody mentioned. You put your garbage bags in them and the garbage men come around and get the bags out and toss them in the truck, as traditional bins are blown away in the high winds. This glass topside table is clearly meant to display something, but there's no indication of what type of thing would go inside. This is a roughly 2x2x1.5 two by two by feet side table with a glass top and an openable compartment that fits two removable trays. Each tray has all these slots in blue felt-covered plastic that are clearly meant to hold something, but we have no idea what. The slots are not uniform at all and vary in width between roughly 1 and 2 inches. The people at the consignment store had no idea what it was for. We thought maybe metals. But this doesn't look like any other display cases we can find on Google. Does anyone have any ideas? It's a display for Franklin Mint Sterling Silver Flags of the United Nations. It used to have 135 ingots, and each ingot had a country flag when admitted into the United Nations. This set is in the top 10 of the most valuable Franklin Mint Silver sets, and a very rare collection. What is this thing? It's obviously electrical. The center section comes out and shows three pins that are plug-like but thinner, and a 2A fuse. I found it in a house I'm working on in England. Any ideas? I know exactly what this is. It's a mains power connector for an old electric clock. I don't know if they still do it, but before accurate quartz clocks were cheap and ubiquitous, they used to ensure that the mains power supply always had the same exact number of cycles in a day so it could be used to directly regulate the speed of clocks plugged into it. I think they were a normal thing 50 years ago. What is this metallic line drawer in an antique kitchen dresser meant to be used for? I bought this unit described as a 1930s era kitchen dresser. I suspect the cupboard on the left is for perishable foods such as meat and dairy. On the right is a drawer, about 20 by 20 centimeters and 40 centimeters deep and it has a sliding lid of the same material. What was this drawer used for? It's a flour drawer. Bread drawers aren't that deep and have perforations in the lid. Potato drawers are deep but usually low on the cabinet, so definitely for flour. What is this house on the side of a dam? This is a building over the water next to a dam on Huntington Lake, California. It seems to have a copper roof since there is a green patina on the top. There is a walkway to the building in a very large pipe that comes down into the water from the center of the building. The pipe is about 2 to 3 feet in diameter. It's octagonal, about 20 feet tall, and about 10 to 15 feet out of the water. What is the purpose of this building? It's an intake structure or intake tower. Basically, there are gates along the vertical pipe, 
and opening those gates controls water to the penstocks, which lead to the powerhouse turbines, then rotate a series of electric generators that produce electricity. What is this metal concave disc, attached to a wooden handle? This has been sitting on the windowsill of an old farmhouse that I visit frequently. I have no idea what it is, and neither do the occupants. What is it? It's a hog scraper, possibly from 1865 to 1935. This tool is a piece of food processing equipment, and was used for removing hair from hide when butchering hogs. What is this thing? The external pouch is leathery. One mouth is wood or bone-like, and the other is metallic. It has a cap that can be opened, and they seem to be connected via a duct. It weighs approximately 100 grams. It was found in an old hunting lodge in use from 1850 to 1970, and closed since. Any ideas? It is the bottom part of an old tobacco pipe, and looks like a bohemian hunter style. The metal cover is a windscreen, and that's where the tobacco goes. It is missing the stem or mouthpiece, which would have been quite long and probably ornate. What are these brass pine cone knob things? It was handed down from someone who worked in the building, sometimes ornamental, bronze window and door frames. I'm not sure if these were made by them. It contains two holes to drill in a screw, and it's about three inches in size. It's heavy, likely made out of brass. They do not contain any writing, and could be dated to the 1940s, based on who gave them to me. Any ideas? They are stair rod ends for holding down a carpet runner. I have the identical original ones in my home. You are missing the rods though. What is this metal tool with a design and at least 80 to 100 years old? Presumably some kind of a tool and is now quite rusty. No markings with an animal design. I found it with other woodworking tools and some metalworking tools. Any ideas? It's a bullhead push lever type can opener. It was designed in 1865 and was supplied with cans of pickled beef named Bully Beef. It was produced until the 1930s and was also offered with a fish head shape. What are these compartments for on this bottle opener? It kinda looks like a contact lens case, but I don't know why it would be on a bottle opener. What do you think it is for? Please let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.